The old hag gobbled on the floor Then drew the bowl back from the door When twelve dark figures, Mary's all Young maidens were in each a shawl Made entry to the hovel dim With faces pale and halting limb The lip green rushes as the stroke At twelve o'clock upon them broke And each one then a place to take Like mourners at a solemn wake Bending above a shroud that hid That thing shaped like a coffin lid The aged hag a strange rhyme said Swaying about her ragged head She beat her hands upon her breast Calling a curse from east to west Upon the mind of a woman's womb Rang the maid now in that room She named each Mary one by one And when the twelve names all were done the Silence fell upon the place And then was lifted up her face A youthful face reluctant and shy That spoke a man's name with a sigh The sheaf of corn lies in that bed, the woman of the magic said. It sprang from seed and virgin earth, and from the hour of favoured birth, was tended by the man that now may stricken be from heel to brow. Twelve rushes we had born tonight, twelve curses now upon him light. Twelve Marys on their bended knees, twelve plagues to pray his limbs to seize. Twelve winds above his bones to play, and twelve sods on his head will lay. He wound a shroud about the corn And in the cold light of the morn A secret grave made on his lands And laid it down with trembling hands While tears upon it, hot as fire Fell from the eyes of Mary Dwyer Now when the good corn buried here Rots with the progress of the year So will the mortal days, he tells Be numbered by our holy spells And when it moulders in the clay Then will his soul have passed away Within the circuit of that time You clawed him from his kiln of lime Was carried home by dark-faced men And women keen and through the glen While some told stories of a spell And how it came and how it fell Upon the path her breast on fire Was seen the form of Mary Dwyer She threw the cloak back from her head Her whitening eyes upon the bed Where lay the stricken form of you His cheeks are white and his lips are blue on her arm she felt a touch And turning round she saw a crutch Make signs across the empty air Above a crouching figure there It was the haggard evil eye Who leered and made the meaning cry Hush women for his heart beat still He may recover by God's will A man of knowledge who is but low Who felt the pulse beat fitful slow From the house without a cloak The figure of the young girl broke with eager steps and eyes of flame up to the secret grave she came and delving in the yielding clay like some wild thing she tore away till still fresh within its shroud she raised the sheep and cried aloud she said the people may now give great praises for young you will live then joyous to the house she fled and standing there beside the bed held up the sheaf of golden corn and looked upon the hag with scorn the eyelids of that stricken man trembled then slowly they began to show the orbs where living sight grew custom to the dawning light and raising up his head there broke a cry that of some terror spoke he stared at Mary Dwyer's young arm His eyes were filled with strange alarm And when that world across the door Played lightly on the corn she bore and in his sight the sheaf was cast to shapes fantastic by the blast my God, look at that grinning head, the man in his delirium said. Look at the ribs that naked rest, where once there burned a young man's breast. Behold the limbs that lately trod, behind the plough upon the sod. The white bones dangling by the side, were once the arms of manly pride. The eyes had dropped out from his head, where signal of great love were read. And where the tongue much passion spoke, now leer the teeth grim humour poke. Oh, Mary Dwyer, why do you stand, holding me in your trembling hand? A skeleton from out the grave, may Christ my sin and soul to save. For in those bones I like to see, to my own shape and destiny. He fell back on the pillow white And from his eyes there died all sight While Mary Dwyer swooned by the bed And I had often heard it said That in the hag's low mocking moans Was heard the rattle of dead bones